Receiving a tiny space satellite called Telstar, television beams go transatlantic, Europeans see baseball, Americans tune in on Paris. La voilà qui revient, la chansonnette, elle avait disparu, le pavé de ma rue était tout bête, les refrains de Paris avaient pris le maquis, les forains, l'orphéon, la chanson de maquis, mais on n'oublie jamais le plomb plomb qui vous met. Where were you the morning of February 20th? As John Glenn walks to his Mercury capsule at Cape Canaveral, the thoughts of Americans everywhere go with him. Here is the pyramid point of a national effort to put a man into orbit at great risk and great reward. Capsule leaves booster, and for nearly five hours, Glenn is freed from Earth's gravitational chains. The Friendship 7 capsule lands safely, and with 18 minutes, is aboard the destroyer Noah. Shipboard, after his three-orbit flight, Colonel Glenn says, My condition is excellent. The anxieties of the space flight are eloquently revealed by Glenn's reunion with his wife. Buoyed in the space race, the United States hails a new hero. After Glenn, Carpenter. Carpenter's three-orbit flight ends by overshooting the target area beyond radio contact. Americans must wait 39 minutes before learning that Commander Carpenter is A-OK. -okay. Now the U.S. has two orbital flights and Russia too. Three months later, Russia breaks the tie. Soviet cosmonaut Andrian Nikolaev goes up, followed a day later by Pavel Popovich. For the first time, a cosmonaut is seen on home television and Premier Khrushchev talks to Nikolaev. For three days, the two cosmonauts circle the Earth in tandem, then land safely. No film is released of launches or landings, but Eurovision carries the cosmonauts' reception in Moscow by Khrushchev and First Deputy Premier Mikoyan. The feat of Russia's space twins is followed by the flight of Commander Wally Shara. He goes for six orbits with such textbook perfection that the Mercury program decides to shoot for a full day 18 orbit flight next attempt. There are other U.S. space achievements. Saturn, the moon rocket, is successfully tested with one and a half times the thrust that pushed the Soviet Vostoks into orbit. August 27th, Mariner 2 starts its great exploratory voyage. Four months to the planet Venus. Delicate instructions change Mariner's course in space, and the marvelous messenger keeps reporting across the void about the path man soon must follow. 